Keratoconus is one of the commonest uh, corneal condition. Uh, nowadays, we see almost uh, uh, 10 cases out of 100 patients uh, with refractive errors. It has become very common. Uh, it's nothing but abnormal bulging of the cornea and it's called conical cornea. There are various reasons for this uh, keratoconus. It uh, could be because of uh, eye rubbing. This is one of the commonest cause and it could be because of uh, some other environmental factors or uh, it can even run in families uh, due to uh, genetic uh, predisposition and uh, the patient can have a progressive uh, loss of vision uh, due to abnormal reflection and this condition can be treated uh, by different ways uh, so it actually uh, in the initial stages we can manage these cases with the uh, glasses and then contact lenses and uh, if it progresses if the patient is not able to tolerate contact lenses next uh, we have to uh, do other procedures to improve the uh, visual acuity if it progresses uh, uh, to an end stage then in such cases we have to do uh, corneal transplantation which can be either a lamellar uh, keratoplasty or a full thickness keratoplasty and if we detect this uh, in the early stage we can stabilize the condition by doing what is called uh, uh, corneal collagen cross-linking that is uh, C3R which actually stabilizes the condition which uh, strengthens the cornea and stabilizes the condition uh, it uh, prevents further progression of the condition it will not improve the visual equity but for vision uh, the patient needs uh, glasses or contact lenses and even in the contact lenses we have various uh, uh, advances that has taken place in the last couple of years uh, we can uh, uh, fit a rose scale lens or we have a hybrid lens that's called soft perm lens and uh, the quality of vision is much better in these lenses and uh, comfort level is also much more uh, compared to the regular lenses uh, which uh, we used to describe.